Thank you, Mr. President. Yesterday, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that LGBTQ individuals are protected under federal law from employment discrimination on the basis of sex. Men who are in love with men have been fired for it, but women who are in love with men are not fired for it. That is sex discrimination, and it is now illegal in all 50 states. Countless people suffered hardships to make this landmark decision possible, especially the late Amy Stevens, a transgender Michigan woman. Her courage, along with the other plaintiffs, ensure that members of the LGBTQ community are not only heard, but protected under the law. So I'll be honest with you, I was surprised by that ruling. LGBTQ activists, community members, support organizations, and legal scholars were preparing for defeat. We know our lives have worth, and our work provides value. But time and time again, it has not been validated by others. It's not validated here in a legislature that won't adopt a simple LGBTQ Pride Month resolution. So we were prepared to support and console one another with the forthcoming Supreme Court ruling. Instead, we were surprised that we were celebrating with one another. This 6-3 decision was affirmed by four justices appointed by a Democratic president and two justices appointed by Republican presidents, including President Trump. I was surprised. Here in Michigan, our Civil Rights Commission has been investigating claims of discrimination against LGBTQ Michiganders as sex discrimination for two years, which the Supreme Court has affirmed. And now, we must extend these affirmed employment protections to housing and public accommodation as well. An LGBTQ person cannot be fired for who they are, but still may be evicted or denied services. We have the legislation in this chamber to fix this. I sponsored Senate Bill 351 last year to amend the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act. So I'm making a, an appeal to the other side of the aisle. Surprise me. Just like the composition of the conservative-led Supreme Court, we can't achieve equality this term without you. And in the Supreme Court Public Opinion Project, the majority of Republicans surveyed in April and May supported LGBT rights in this case. For the sexual orientation item, Democratic support was 90% and Republican support was 74%. For the transgender item, Democratic support was 86% and the Republican support was 69%. I saw a tweet today that Neil Gorsuch's take is, get off my land, keep away from my gun, and stay out of my bedroom. I hope that's the take that some of you have. I'm not asking for you to become a hero or an activist. I'm asking you to represent your constituents, your LGBTQ constituents, your Republican constituents. You don't have malice from our community for evolving and learning and growing on this issue. We wouldn't gain wide-reaching support on LGBTQ rights if it weren't for people changing their minds. So please, I ask you, join the entire Democratic caucus in supporting Senate Bill 351 and ask the Senate Majority Leader to put it up for a vote. I welcome all of you to celebrate Pride Month with us and embrace equality. Thank you, Mr. President. I ask for my remarks to be printed in the journal.